Howdy folks, so let's answer that burning question, should I wire my solar panels in series or parallel? Let's take a look at how to wire each and what difference that makes to charging our leisure battery. Now, series or parallel refers to the way in which the solar panels are wired together. If we wire in series, we essentially daisy chain the wiring. Here's an example. We would take the outgoing positive cable and connect it to the positive MC4 connector on our first solar panel. We then take the negative MC4 connector from the same solar panel and connect it to the positive on the next solar panel, creating that daisy chain effect. We continue this on and on until we reach the last panel, where the remaining negative MC4 connector connects to the outgoing negative towards the solar charge controller. Now in contrast, when wiring in parallel, we introduce the use of a Y branch. Using this Y branch, we'll take the negatives from both of the solar panels and connect it to the branch. Similarly, with the positive side, we take the positives from both solar panels and connect it to another Y branch. With all of our negatives and positives condensed, we can then connect a single positive and negative cable that will go on to the solar charge controller. If you have, say, three solar panels, then you can purchase a Y branch with three connector points. So essentially, by wiring it in parallel, instead of the daisy chain effect that we got in the series, we're actually going to connect all the positives together in one group and all the negatives together in another group. Now what difference does this make to charging our leisure battery if we choose one or the other? Well if we were to wire in series we increase the voltage, but the amperage remains the same. If we wire in parallel we increase the amperage, but the voltage remains the same. Now this could be useful for different reasons. By wiring in parallel, increasing the amperage, we can increase the speed in which our leisure battery is charged up. But this is only the case if the conditions are sunny. Every solar charge controller has a minimum voltage threshold that it needs to reach in order to begin charging the leisure battery. This is usually the leisure battery voltage plus around 5 volts, so that's around 17 to 18 volts for a 12 volt system. The panels I'm using here reach a voltage of around 23 volts, so when it's a little overcast, panels wired in parallel may struggle to reach that 17 to 18 volt threshold. On the flip side of that, if you wire in series, the voltage is actually then going to double. So if it is an overcast day, and say you're only getting 10 volts through, it's going to be doubled. So you're going to get 20 volts coming through, which means you're going to be over that threshold, which means you're going to be able to charge in more difficult conditions. The downside to wiring series though, is that the charge process would be slower, given that the amperage would have remained the same. If you wire in parallel, and one of your panels is overcast or damaged, that all the other panels are still going to work. If you wire it in series and one of your panels is damaged or overcast, then all of them are going to stop working. So there's a few considerations there. Now what they recommend doing is that if you live in an overcast country, they say you should wire in series to double your voltage and make sure you can work in all those different conditions. If you live in a very sunny climate, they say it's best to wire in parallel because you can then double the amount of amps that is coming through to your leisure battery. As a last alternative, you could combine the benefits of both with a series parallel setup. If you had, for example, four solar panels, you could separate them into two pairs. You would then wire the two pairs in series. You'd have a positive coming in, and then the negative would daisy chain to the positive of the other panel. The negative from that panel would then come out towards a Y branch. You would then repeat these same steps for the other two panels, and we'd be left with two positives and two negatives, which we can use to make up the parallel side of the configuration. Install both positives into one branch and both negatives into another. You'll then have one positive and one negative leading on that will connect to your solar charge controller. My personal recommendation is to get a really good MPPT solar charge controller. Now the reason is, is because a PWM solar charge controller basically acts as a switch. So if your solar panels are only achieving 10, 11, 12 volts, that's all that's going to come through to the leisure battery. With an MPPT solar charge controller, and the reason why it's more efficient is because it actually boosts the voltage. Even on an overcast day, it's still quite likely that you're going to be able to get over that threshold. I hope that was helpful. That's how to wire in series, parallel, or series parallel. And be sure to check out our other videos on how to build your own camper.